What's going on YouTube? We got a really exciting rip here today. This is the brand new recently released Wild Force and Cyber Judge, uh, the new Japanese Pokemon set, which coincidentally happens to be releasing on the exact same day uh, as Paldean Fates here in the US, uh, or at least in English, the English set Paldean Fates. But um, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and just get right into it. We've got, I believe this one is the Cyber Judge, and this one is the Wild Force. Wild Force has the Gengar uh, SAR, SAR that I'm looking for, hopefully, or maybe like the full art. And I think that one also has the Ghastly. Um, just like art rare, but let's go ahead and get into it. We got a lot of packs to go through with these two boxes. Um, I think this one is 30 packs per box. So not we're not going to get a hit in every pack like we were getting in Shiny Treasure. There's going to be a lot of packs that have nothing. Um, they're going to be five, five cards per pack. Man, we're making a mess here. <laughs> um, let's see if we can kind of tuck that in there. Keep that in the back. All right. So let's go ahead and move that back there. And let's get to it. Let me know what you guys think of this set if you've checked out the card list. I'll put a few of the kind of the chase cards on screen, possibly, if I can find good, clear pictures of them. But let's go. Again, we got a lot of packs to go through. Oh, wow. There we go. Starting off with a, uh, what is that, Swastbuck or something? Art Rare. So it does look like the hit, if we get one, is going to be the fourth card. So we could probably start to move everything uh, one to the front. But starting off with hit right off the bat, we'll take it. All right. There we go. I think the full art Gengar looks really, really cool. Uh, I'd almost rather get that than, I mean, I wouldn't complain about getting the trainer with the Gengar in it, but. Oh, wow, what is this? A-C-E Ace? It's pink. Okay, I don't think that's like, I'm assuming that's not gonna be one of our like hits hits but ace spec huh wow that card looks crazy it actually i mean i have no idea what this does um but i mean that's a pretty cool looking card well let's at least leave it for now look at that that looks wild um is that on the back here doesn't say anything about ace weird all right well, if you guys know anything about what that is, I don't play the game, nor can I read Japanese. So, not sure what we're looking at there. But it does look pretty cool. I wonder if there's other cards that are similar to it. Uh, the hollow pattern is pretty awesome. Oh, that's cool, Raichu. I like that artwork. And nothing. So again, yeah, 30 packs in here. We're gonna have a lot of packs that have nothing like the last couple. Uh, five cards per pack. And I'm not 100% sure what we're looking for with the Cyber Judge. I wasn't gonna touch this new set. I had no plans to do the, I can't remember what the name of it is in English. Um, Temporal Forces or something. Ooh. We have a UR right here. This might be our hit for the box. We might not get an SR now since we got a UR. Oh, we'll take that. The gold, um, the Verizian, I don't know what they're calling it specifically. I know they kind of made these like futuristic and ancient Pokemon. So I'm not sure the name of it. Uh, again, since I can't read Japanese and I haven't really been keeping up with Scarlet and Violet. I beat it the f like first week Scarlet came out. Mm, what was that? December of 22. And I have not really logged in since. But we'll take it. Just a double rare sizer, scissor, sizer. But yeah, these cards are 
ones that I had intended to skip. I think a lot of people did. And then when they announced the Gengar, that's in Wild Force. That's going to be, should be in Temporal, uh, Temporal Forces or whatever it's called. Uh, that one got me curious, at least enough to open a box of each. Um, and I was lucky enough to get it on release day. This is the Japanese release day, and I have it here in the U.S. So pretty exciting to be able to be ripping it this early. A lot of, uh, well, that's just our first hollow. Huh. A lot of duplicate commons already, although it is only 71 card set for the commons, uncommons, and rares. And maybe even the double, I think the double rares are in there too. Ooh, we got our second AR. This one is the Deerling, I believe that is. So we've got that one and the Swassbug. Very nice. Very, very colorful. Let's compare it to the yeah, that almost looks like they go right next to each other, huh? That's that's pretty cool. I like the continuity between the two cards. All right, so so far we've got two art rares. I'm not 100% sure what to expect from the box in general. I'd imagine it should be fairly consistent across all of them. I would assume one SR or better in a box, and then a handful of double rares and art rares. Uh, it seems like lately it's been, I don't know, what, three? Three or so art rares, so we might only have one to go, but I would assume that the UR uh, replaces our SR. Got another double rare. The, looks like a futuristic Maridon. Or is that the Cabalion? I'm not sure. Again, I haven't been keeping up on the newer Pokemon or what they're doing specifically with the future and ancient mechanics. But I know they kind of changed the Suicune, the Raikou, and the Entei into some like long necked elephant like Pokemon. Or giraffe-like Pokemon, that is, I mean. Pikachu and double rare of the Verizian. Alright, so really haven't hit a whole lot in a little while. Also just these double rares. I guess maybe just one more AR for the rest of the box, but... Got a Mag Cargo Hollow. It's pretty cool looking artwork. Oh! All right, Mr. Mime, and there's another artwork art rare of uh, that Excalibur, something like that. I'll be honest. I mean, I'm fairly uh, like I know a decent number of the Pokemon just from opening them, but. I'm mostly partial to Gen 1, Gen 2, so anything beyond that I don't know as well. But really cool looking art artwork on that one. And that might be uh, that might be it. We might just be looking at uh, double rares the rest of the way. I mean, we only have maybe six packs left after this. Again, I do believe these have 30, though I did not count. Ooh, nice. The uh, this double rare, kind of like the Charizard. In I guess I don't really know why I sleep that, but kind of like the Charizard shiny treasure has a little bit of texture to it. The Farafrig, I think, is that one. All right, we got yeah six packs left. Hopefully we can get one more hit. Oh, that's a cool looking hollow, even though it's just a hollow. The, uh, I forget the name of what they 
made that the Tyranitar that's like metal. All right, just a couple more and then we're gonna get into the wild horse and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully pull some version of Gengar, maybe the Ghastly Art Rare. Although it seems like at this point, if we pull, I mean, we're only gonna have one shot at it really to get either the full art or the SAR. Oh, okay, maybe we do have two shots at it, considering we got this full art uh, SR. Nice. We'll definitely take that. I wonder if the UR is a bonus or what. We'll see. Uh, I'm not opening any more of it, not planning on opening any more of it. And I, so I have a very small sample size with only one box here today of the Cyber Dredge. I would assume Wild Force is going to follow kind of the same pattern, but again, it's a small sample size. All right, last pack. All right, that is it for the Cyber Judge. Let's go ahead and get into the Wild Force. That was pretty decent. We got an SR, a UR. So it doesn't seem like the UR replaced the SR. All right. I don't know, maybe I'll end up ripping a couple more if the price comes down a tiny bit. These aren't too, too bad price-wise. But I would love to, again, pull the Full Art Gengar, the SIR Gengar, and that Ghastly, which hopefully we can get one or two of them right here. All right, so this one should be the Ancient, or the uh, Wild Force. I think this is more of the ancient Pokemon, and the Cyber Judge is the uh, futuristic. Looks like maybe a hollow back here. Yep, just a hollow. Oh, Ghastly and Sharpedo. I'm actually going to move this stuff a little bit, but this one was weird. I wonder if we're going to get something similar or if that's maybe one of the futuristic uh, cards. I do like the artwork on a lot of these just commons and uncommons. There's, oh, there we go. Let's go. That is one of the cards I was hoping to pull. We got the ghastly... Uh, Art Rare with the Gengar on there, the Haunters in the background, even Meowth down on the front. But super cool looking card. Really glad that we were able to pull that. Hopefully we can pull one of the Gengars, but there's obviously so many other cards that it could be instead. But, all right. Ekans and nothing. Looks like a skateboard with sirens on it. Alright. Nothing there. Nothing. Yeah, this stuff just released today. Today being January, Friday, January 26th. Just released in Japan. So there's probably not too much of it in the U.S. yet. I'm sure it'll all start to hit next week. I've skipped a lot of the Scarlet and Violet sets other than the specialty sets. I've done a little bit of Paldean. The Japanese, I did some Shiny Treasure and then 151, obviously, but the Scarlet and Violet base, Paldea Evolved, Paradox Rift, I really haven't gotten into much. Double Rare. Ooh, I'm going to sleeve that too, even though I'm sure that's going to be fairly common. That is a sweet looking Gengar. I hope that this is just a Gengar loaded box, because that is what I'm after. Let's keep it up. All right, Art Rare, Bronzor, pretty cool looking card. He's like looking into Bronzor shaped mirror. Huh, 
All right, so that's two art rares. Nothing like that ace card though. That was weird. It's like pink and even the where it said ace at the bottom, it was really shining pink. I don't know if those are gonna be common or what, but looks pretty cool. Just a hollow. All right, we're almost halfway through. Haunter and double rare of the Suicune type ancient Pokemon. All right, hoping for an SAR. Although I would also take that SR Full Art Gengar. Alright, um, let me, I just want to double check. Is it 15? Yeah, 5. Yeah, okay, so it is 30 packs. A lot of packs. Hopefully we're going quick enough. Video just over 15 minutes. Alright, Mr. a so still looking for an SR. Um, I'm thinking again that that UR we got in the previous box is probably just a bonus. I'm wondering if an SAR would be a bonus or if it would just be um, a replacement of the SR. There's a double rare of the Raikou, ancient, with the long neck. You can kind of see him on the box back there. He's got that long, long neck. All right, come on. Nothing in that. So we're down to the last, like, eight, nine packs, maybe. Starting to run out of chances of double hits. All right. Few more packs to go. It's kind of a cool looking Arbok. Just uncommon or common, whatever it was. We're getting close to 500 subscribers. I appreciate everybody who has subscribed so far. Um, we're going to be doing some giveaways once we hit 500. Uh, I'll maybe post those on screen or something. Planning on, well, I probably won't post them on screen because I haven't fully decided what we're going to do yet. I think I'm going to do a 151 booster bundle and then probably some poking or um some basketball and football as well maybe some blasters so make sure you're checking out the videos to see when that is going to be oh we got another one of those ace okay so those probably aren't going to be super uh uncommon considering we got one in each box so far i'm going to assume that we probably get about one a box but they're pretty sweet looking i mean that's cool it's cool like hollow pattern it's got some texture to it too I believe yeah a little bit of texture to it um, but yeah make sure you're checking out the videos we only got four packs left huh that way you know when we are doing the giveaway and how to win and what you can win man we are running out of packs here three packs to go hopefully we at least get one hit Not in that one. All right, last two packs. Come on. Show me an SR at least. I would imagine that you get at least one SR per box. Another art rare. So, wow, that, that almost looks like realistic. That's like super clear. So that is only, okay, so that's our third art rare and we're still without an SR. So hopefully, it's right here in this pack. Last pack magic. Come on. Okay, I think we do have something back there. I was going to say that would stink. All right, looks like just a basic SR, and I don't think those are the right colors. Definitely not the right colors for the Gengar. 
fun. Oh, we got the Wug Trio. <laughs> All right. Well, that unfortunately is not what I was hoping for, but I did get a, the Gengar and I got the Ghastly that I was hoping for. Um, but the Gengar Full Art or SAR would have been nice. So overall, we got three ARs in each box, I believe. Three ARs and the uh, one SR um, in Wild Force. And then we got the Ultra Rare to go with the SR in Cyber Judge along with three ARs. So it seems like, I would, I would assume maybe if you'd get an SAR that it would be a bonus, be a double hit, but pretty cool looking ARs right there that go together. Um, and then we got one of these ace cards. Again, not sure what they are, but they look sweet. One of these in each box. So anyways, let me know if you guys are gonna open any of this yourself. Uh, appreciate you checking out the video. And um, let me know what your favorite card in the set is, if you are op opening it or if you plan to get any of the English Temporal Forces. Uh, as always, I appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you in the next one.